Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Milk you from friends. Where did you do I didn't know that lyric. Everywhere you look, everywhere you go. A hand to hold on to, everywhere you look. Somebody who needs you. When you're lost out there and you're all alone, a light is waiting to carry you home. Everywhere you look. It's day seven. We're in San Francisco. Last night was a great show, San Francisco State University. Today I'm gonna decorate my hearing aids with YouTuber Jessica Flores, and I think we're gonna see the Full House house. Um, maybe go to Haight-Ashbury, where the hippie free love movement started, man. It's gonna be a great day. Let's go. I have no toothpicks. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> but seriously, I wish I had toothpicks. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how you doing? You make YouTube videos, right? Okay. You're a YouTuber. Yeah. So, yeah, what I've been doing it is I've been making YouTube and Facebook content to kind of just spread like awareness about what it's really like to mm -hmm. be deaf or hard of hearing. Like I want to educate more people. So mm -hmm. how can I do that? And I was like, okay, well maybe YouTube, like maybe I'll share my experiences on YouTube and try to do that. It's nice to like, just like, educate people you know and like tell them like what's really going on and like what we're really <laughs> so you decorate your hearing edge i do There's a lot of people do the opposite they try to hide yeah, them uh -huh. you want them to be out yeah, in the open big and bold <laughs> this is going to be the first time that i yeah. actually try to make them stand out so yeah. this is well, a big it, moment so the first thing you can do now that you have your base sticker that you want to do you're going to peel it off and you're going to kind of like guess like what size it's gonna be on the okay. hearing aid. So like I'm gonna say right about there. I gotta say arts and crafts was never my thing in school, so <laughs> I okay. will That's mess okay. this up. That's okay. Try to cover up it as much as you can. I like to use these little cuticle scissors. Mm. You know how I said I'm uh, really bad at this? I put it on the wrong side already. <laughs> DJ, you're natural. Don't patronize me, Jessica. I know I'm not a natural. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's some futuristic yeah. looking hearing aid right there. I think I'm going to add a puppy for sure. You know, if they got a Bernice Mountain Dog puppy, that's what I got to go with. That's my favorite. <laughs> so cute. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> Do -do -do. Is that yours too? <laughs> when the hearing aid turn on, they make a sound. By the way, that five second delay before they come on, yeah. Why? I, sometimes I wonder if uh, we can change that to like, you know, good morning, Jessica. You know what I want mine to say? What? You can hear now. Oh, I like that. Like how you can have Snoop Dogg be your GPS yeah. voice, that uh -huh. type of thing. Yeah, imagine Whoa. Snoop Dogg being like, you can hear, mother <laughs> How's it look? Can yeah, you see the dog? Look, they look so pretty. Like, can you see the dog? Yeah. Yeah? It looks like it's like, Oof, oof, like just peeking. Cool. Well, can you show uh, everybody what your hearing aid looks like? Yeah. The uh -huh. decoration. Look how shiny they are. <laughs> Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see us through. Funny story. My sister always says when I was young, she knew I wanted to be a comedian because she asked me who I wanted to be when I grew up. And I said, Uncle Joey, Dave Coulier. So if you're wondering where my comic influence comes from, Uncle Joey, cut it out. But really, I consider myself an Uncle Jesse. Have mercy. Cut it out. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, interweaving between my life and Full House, because when I was a kid, other kids would try to make fun of me, and it was never about my hearing aid or anything. It was always, they'd call me DJ Tanner. They'd be like, oh, look at DJ Tanner. I'm like, DJ Tanner's awesome. <laughs> Trying to hurt my feelings with DJ Tanner? Nah, now if you called me Gibbler, we'd have some problems. That's another thing about that show that's crazy, is how often they were always ragging on Gibbler. Why did Gibbler keep coming around? They abused her horrendously. Even the adults. You never watched Full House, did you? I did. But Gibbler was DJ's friend, the neighbor. And every time she came over, they were just oh, like, yeah, yeah. she was a punching bag. <laughs> Oh, 
One on one. What are you going to play up to? Eleven. Eleven. Zero, zero. A couple ballers going head to head here. Woo! One nothing. Two nothing. Three, two. Four, two. No, oh, that's fine. Five, five. Seven, six. Just doing a little jog. Nine six. Hey, settling. I just want this game to go on forever. Ten seven. Ah, oh, Kobe. Just like we drew it up on the drawing board. San Francisco, I love you. I always love coming here. The show last night, San Francisco State University, was amazing. Today was absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to Jessica Flores for helping me to uh, decorate my hearing aids. Got the cute puppy dogs on the holographic background. Feel pretty pimping. So that's it. We're leaving San Fran and uh, we're jumping on a plane heading to Chattanooga in the morning, 6 a.m. You ready for the early flight? Nope. Nope? <laughs> Me neither. Let's not sleep. Let's party. Yeah, let's do that. And in the meantime, enjoy this beautiful view. See you later, everyone.